Whoa, it's dark in here. Hi, my name is Keith Day, and I play bass in a band that has played hundreds of gigs over the past several years. And the band is called Mixed Nuts. In fact, all total, we've played over 2,500 gigs. Sorry about the light. I'm actually in my garage. The garage door is shut. We're posting these videos to give you an inside view of our band and just how we do things. So today I've decided I'm actually going to take you along on a gig. I'd like to talk about five things that I consider very important about driving to and from gigs. Uh, I'm going to put these sunglasses on. I know that looks silly. Um, get the garage door closed. So five things that I think are very important uh, for a gigging musician in terms of driving to and from a gig. The very first thing, very important, number one, don't forget any of your gear. It might help to make a checklist. Um, something that you can quickly look at to, and, and check over your gear to make sure that you have everything that you need. You, and, and that would include uh, backup items. I'd like to tell you a, a story of a gig that we played. Uh, we get to the gig and we unload and the, the drummer showed up and uh, we start. he started setting up his drum set and realized that he could not find his cymbal bag. He had left it at the previous place where we had played. Fortunately, we had enough time for me to run home to grab uh, an older set of um, symbols that I happen to have at home. But the, but even worse than that was his sticks and brushes were all in the pocket of the drum bag that was left at the uh, other place. So what we ended up doing was um, asking the, the folks in the kitchen if they had any wooden spoons. Well, no, they did not have any wooden spoons, but they did have metal spoons some large, uh, long-handled metal spoons, and that's what he used. And we played the gig. It was somewhat comical. We all laughed about it. We still laugh about it. Um, but, uh, you know, we pulled it off. But uh, sometimes these lessons are learned the hard way. Don't forget your wallet or your purse. And um, don't forget the fun. If you don't bring, if you don't bring any fun, to the gig, it's it's really not worth it. Number two, number two, most important thing, is find a way to get in and out of the gig in one trip. Now, sometimes you'll 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 get to where the the gig is, and you can back your car right up to the back door, and it's only twenty feet uh, from your car to the stage. But other times you might pull up, I know we've got one place we play where we actually have to park down a steep hill, probably at least 50 yards away from the front door. And then once you get into the front door, it's another 30 yards to get back to where the, the band would set up. If you have to make multiple trips, it's going to take a long time. And uh, if the gig is delayed because you're still making that one more trip to the car, uh, your bandmates are not going to be very happy. I very often, as I am today, carry the PA system for the band as well as my uh, bass equipment. So I have a lot of equipment with me today. You can probably see it back there. I actually have a one of those uh, rock and roller wagons. Highly recommend them. Um, there's another brand that I think is also pretty good called Jam Stands. This allows me, even with the band's PA system, it allows me to make one trip in as well as one trip back out when the gig is over. And another important thing to do is to try to lighten your load. Number three, dress appropriate. If you're subbing into a band and they've not told you how they're going to dress, you need to ask because if they're all dressed casually and you show up in a tuxedo, nah, that's not going to work. Uh, 
uh, or if you show up in a suit and a tie and they're all in their jeans, that, that's not going to work. So there you have it. Number three, dress appropriately. Let's move on to number four. Number four might be the most important item in my list because it's very critical. Number four is when you're driving to a gig, make sure you get there on time. Or better yet, be early. This is very important. Um, give yourself plenty of time. You need that wiggle room. A lot of things can go wrong. You can get into a traffic jam. Um, the weather might cause problems. You might run into construction. Um, you might want to do the best you can beforehand to make sure that there aren't those kind of problems. Nowadays we have really nice tools on the internet to uh, check out a route. But probably the easiest thing to do is to just give yourself some extra time to get to the gig. It never hurt to be just sitting there visiting with your bandmates for 15 minutes until the gig starts. In fact, it's kind of fun and enjoyable uh, to, to do it that way. On the other hand, if, you, uh, if you're cutting it too close, you have a problem, say a flat tire, or heaven forbid you run out of gas, make sure that you ask the band, if it's a band you're subbing into and you don't know how they do things, ask them what time the, 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 they expect you to be at the gig and then come a little early. That's impressive. If you come late and you're rushed to set up, number one, you, you, your mind gets messed up. You might not be able to perform at the top of your ability. Or if you come after the gig starts, that's very bad. Uh, you may never be asked to um, sub into that band again. That's very, very important to be, to be, to be punctual and on time um, for your gigs. If you want to be a gigging musician and you're not willing to be punctual and on time, don't do it. It, it, it won't work. It just won't work. Okay, that was number four, be on time. Let's move on to number five, drive safely. Is your vehicle safe? Is it reliable? Do you have the appropriate pressure um, in your tires? Is your gear packed into your car appropriately? Now you can see the, in the back of my little van, this is actually a, a Ford Transit Connect. And of course, stay clear of drugs and alcohol. Um, alcohol or drugs and driving just simply don't mix. So here we are at the venue where I'm uh, gonna be playing today. It's an outdoor gig. Last time I was here, they actually let us take our equipment up through the um, the building and then out. See now, I'm finding I'm not finding a parking spot. So it's so like I said, I'm gonna have a hard time. I've got a long ways to go to get to the uh, place where the band is is going to play. So I'm really glad that I've got a wagon and I've got a way to get into that gig in one trip which will save me a ton of time here's a fun time lapse of me unloading and uh, going into the to the venue in uh, one trip as well as the band setting up and then tearing down and uh, getting back out uh, of the building You'll notice that I run into Bill Marsh, our drummer, on the way in. He also uh, goes in with one trip, has a wagon for all of his equipment. The music that I'll play during this uh, fun time lapse, the first song was recorded years ago by our band. Um, it's sung by Katie Blunt. And then the other three songs are actually recorded from this very gig. And uh, the songs are sung by Katrina Nelson. I hope you enjoy it.
compared to what it has been the last few days. Any of you get blown away? None of you? Almost. But he loves me. I wonder who. I wonder who can he be? Somebody loves me. I wish I drive safely and since you've stuck with me all the way to the end of this video I'm gonna give you a bonus number six Ooh. 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 bring the fun attitude attitude is means so much for a gigging musician uh, your band members they could really tell uh, you know your reliability your positive attitude uh, you need to be a good match for the band. You need to be part of the solution rather than the problem. And uh, never do drugs. Just don't go there. Don't ever do drugs or alcohol. Um, I promise it does not bring anything good to a band. Ah, this traffic's crazy. As an entertainer, you, you have an obligation and a duty to just enjoy that time while you're playing because the audience can tell if you have differences with other band members um, it's a good idea to keep that private they're building new retirement centers every day the baby boomer generation <clears throat> is retiring and they still love music and love live music here I am at the house I'm gonna go ahead and back into the garage now that I'm home you might wonder if I'm gonna unload all that stuff and take it in the house? And the answer is no. I have a backpack right here, which everything that I'm going to take in the house, like my computer and some of my music and just the, the stuff that I'm gonna want to have in the house between now and the next gig will be in the house. Now my bass is back there, but don't worry. I've got three other basses in the house. My wife gives me a hard time about that. Um, but you know how many guitars a guitar player needs, and the answer to that question is just one more. Now, my situation is I have a garage on my home, and I keep the garage door closed, and so I'm not that concerned about my instrument being stolen. I've just found that with the number of gigs that we play, it's very convenient to leave the main portion of my gear uh, in the car, now, if you don't have a garage, I'm not recommending that you leave your equipment out. I really hope that we've given you a little insight into our band and, and what we do. Make sure that you visit our website. It's www.mixednutsmusic.org. And uh, please like us on Facebook. You go to facebook.com forward slash the Mixed Nuts Swing Band. And once again, please subscribe, hit that notification button. See you next time. Goodbye from the Mixed Nuts. Tip number seven. Don't eat in your car. Don't even 
thing about it.